Check this out, everyone. Can you guess what is inside of this storage pouch? If you said a tarp, you would be correct. This is the Helicon Tex Super Tarp. This is interesting. This is just one of the two storage bags that come with this tarp. Folks, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. My name is Luke. I appreciate you all tuning in. This is a preview. A few weeks ago, I had a viewer write in asking about this tarp. So I went to the Helicon Tex website. I went over the pictures. I went over the stats. It looks pretty good for the money, it does. This is a fairly lightweight tarp, one pound, 12 ounces on my scale. It's a 10 foot by 10 foot. And as I mentioned, the price isn't bad. The retail price of this is $65. Now that's the retail price. You do have to be careful. I'll talk more about that in just a minute. Before I do a component breakdown, let's go over the measurements of this storage pouch. What you are looking at is 12 inches by six and a half inches by one and a half inches. So overall, the form factor, it's not bad, it's definitely different. 99% of the time when it comes to a tarp, you're accustomed to it being rolled up. As you can see here, that's different. Looking at the storage case here, this is the zippered storage case. Again, there is another one. You have a single YKK zipper that goes across the top. On the back side, you have lots of mesh. The purpose of the mesh is pretty smart. Let's say that you have a wet tarp. You could put it inside of this and the water can drain out. In addition to the mesh, you have all of these loops. You have nine loops in total. That way you can lash this to the outside of your pack and so that water can drain out. Opening up the zippered bag, let's take a look at the tarp. But before we do, this is the secondary storage bag. This one features a draw pool. No mesh, just a simple storage bag, more in line with what you would expect to see with a tarp. Now let's take the tarp out of this storage bag. And here is the tarp, the super tarp. For a 10 by 10 tarp, the overall form factor of this is not bad. It's rather small. At the same time, it's rather lightweight too. With the tarp spread out on the ground, you can see the full size. This is a square tarp, 10 by 10. It features 19 reinforced tie-off points. These go across the body and across the center of the tarp. Speaking of which, there are three across the top and these are their locations. With the tarp being set up in an A-frame formation, let's go over some stats real quick. This tarp is available in numerous colors and also camo patterns. You got black, olive drab, and two versions of woodland camo. I mentioned before that the retail price is $65. You have to be careful because numerous sellers, including Helicon Techs themselves, will overcharge for this product on Amazon. When it comes to the materials, according to Helicon Techs, it is 100% ripstop nylon. They do not state the denier of the fabric. When it comes to the materials, according to the Helicon Tex website, this tarp is made from a 100% ripstop polyester. They do not state the denier of the fabric. Based upon my hands-on with this tarp, I say it's rather low because this tarp is very thin. Also, it's very light. When it comes to polyester, it takes quite a bit of that material for it to be very strong. So without a doubt, this is a summer tarp and a summer tarp only. Now, I found this interesting. At the Helicon Tex website, they state this is a ripstop that has been plastic coated. I've never seen a company state this before. I'm going to assume they mean like polyurethane coated or maybe silicone, but plastic, I've never heard that before. I'm not entirely sure what that means. They could mean a DWR treatment as well. I just don't know. Again, folks, there are 19 reinforced tie-off points. The seams of this tarp are taped. You have the two storage bags, and in a nutshell, that is the super tarp. As far as my first impressions go with this tarp, for $65, I think it looks to be a tarp worth about $65. Overall, the quality looks to be good, but I can tell that this is a summertime tarp only, and you can tell that by the tie-off points. Look at the webbing here. This is very thin. This is only about half an inch thick. I've never seen webbing this thin on a tarp before. Those do not inspire confidence. Now, I do like the fact that they're reinforced. That's a good thing. But again, they feel very, very weak. I decided to hop on Google, do some searching about those tie-off points in regards to this tarp, and I've found numerous instances where users have torn those off. So you do have to be careful. I was concerned about that. Ultimately, we'll see how the testing goes. But for right now, there's a reason to be concerned. The size of the tarp is excellent. 10 by 10, perfect. The weight, perfect. Form factor, this certainly will not take up much space inside of your backpack. When it comes to the two storage bags, those are interesting. With the zippered pouch, that's essentially made for a wet tarp. It will be interesting to see whether or not it's easy to get a wet tarp back into that. I don't know, I'll just have to test that out. 
It could be, but then again, it might be a struggle. Upon close inspection, I have to say that some of the stitch work looks pretty nasty. You can see extra material up here. That doesn't look super sharp. Going down here, you can see some issues. Down here at the bottom, more problems. Some of the stitch work is coming apart. Overall, it's not the worst I've ever seen. For $65, I wouldn't complain, but for more than $65, this would be unacceptable, in my opinion. Based upon my hands-on experiences so far with this tarp, I would say it's worth $65 and $65 only. If you can get this for a sale price, I say great, but I certainly wouldn't pay more than $65 for this. You have to keep in mind, everyone, this is a polyester tarp, and for just a little bit more money, you can get a tarp that's quite a bit stronger than this. For an example, the AquaQuest Guide Tarp, that's around $100. It weighs less than this. It's made from nylon. And with AquaQuest tarps, they're top notch. They are proven. With this tarp here, already we know of some issues, namely those with the tie-offs. Before I wrap up this episode, everyone, I want to point out a few issues that I have with the United States Helicon website. There's just a lot of strange information there. And at the same time, some of the information is actually lacking. For an example, what is the denier of this polyester? If we had that sort of information, we could have a good idea of just how strong this tarp is. Personally, this is something that I would like to see Helicon Techs work on. If you happen to have any hands-on experience with this tarp, please comment down below. Share your experiences with the community, good and bad. That's what this channel is all about. It's all about helping each other out, preventing each other from wasting our money. In the very least, it's all about information and sharing that information. For this episode, everyone, that pretty much wraps it up. I wanted to do a first look with this tarp. That's what we've done. I wanted to get the information out there concerning my perspective of this tarp initially. With that being said, this tarp is going to go through a great deal of testing before my review is finished. In general, I like Helicontext products, and I'm sure this is going to be a good tarp. In the end, I will test it fully, honestly, and I'll share with you all my thoughts and opinions on it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more insight in regards to this tarp coming up soon. Folks, I'm done for now. Hit the like button before you go. I do appreciate it. Also, if you want to support the channel, you can do so. Patreon, YouTube, you can join the Wolf Pack. The channel is agenda free. I'm not here to sell this product. I'm here to share information and that's it. I am excited to see just how well this tarp performs. Coming up tomorrow, I have a trip out with it and we shall see. I'm done everybody. Take care, be well, strength and honor. Bye for now.